So we talk a lot about coffee and what we drink is coffee. Well, that's not necessarily true. 98.5% of what you're drinking isn't coffee, it's water. And the water has a significant amount of effect on the cup character of the coffee as well. You could have a beautiful quality coffee that tastes just delicious, ruined by poor quality water. Whether it's um, water that's got a ton of chlorine in it to mask its flavor, or there's a lot of biomaterial that's in your water. I, I, you know, it's pond scum. You don't, if you're going to be drinking your 98 point coffee with pond scum, it's not going to taste all that great. Well, it's important to remember that 98.5% of what you're consuming is water and it can affect the character of coffee. So much so that even the mineral content of the water will change its character. So we're in the Yuba Sutter region. On one side of the river, you've got a water that's been through a treatment plant and it's very well specced for the hardness of the water. Then you've got water on the other side of the river that's uh, natural groundwater and it has extremely hard water conditions, multi hundreds of parts per million. Well, all of that uh, mineral content will affect the extraction of the, of the coffee and so you may taste a difference in coffee, not just from the mineral content, but also from the amount of extra things that are extracted from the coffee. Not always pleasant, sometimes depending on how you brew it, it can be extremely, extremely good. Something to keep in mind when you're brewing your coffee.